How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Smoldron. Welcome back to another amazing, awesome episode of our Lost Island Survival Series. Thank you guys for tuning in. You guys are beautiful, amazing people, and I appreciate your existence, okay? I, I just do, okay? You're awesome, you're beautiful, you're amazing, and I appreciate your existence. Today, we're going to be doing something very, very, very dangerous. I am going to be taming a Karcha. Um, otherwise known as, I got it pulled up here, it's like a Karcha, lar, 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 lar. Uh, Karch, uh, Karchar Rodon Tesaurus. There we go. There we go. Um, but yeah, there's been a card show in our lands for a, a, a good little minute now. And um, it's going to be my first time trying to tame one. It's a low level. It's a level 25. He's over there all the way in those mountains. Um, and we're going to be trying to tame one. Now, if you guys don't know, the card is actually tamed very differently versus the whole knocking out method, feeding it meat type of method. You actually have to feed this guy like you're actually feeding a dinosaur right so we actually have to get dead dinosaurs and drag them over and feed them so um that's exactly what we're gonna be doing and we're also gonna have to be trapping it and i've never trapped a karcha before um but them things are huge kind of like a giga and uh i actually have no idea how to how to trap one um so we're just gonna pretty much going to be looking to do the default way of trapping dinosaurs um with the whole foundations or whatnot which means i actually have to go ahead and start getting my resources here um yeah we have no foundations we have no foundations inside of our little foundation there we go eight that we're gonna, we're gonna need approximately nine foundations here um so i'm gonna go ahead and let's see your metal metal let's make 10 of you now on foundations um we're actually gonna need a lot more foundations than that we're not going to need any ceilings, so we can go ahead and put the ceilings out. We're not going to need any of those. We're not going to need any of those. Just foundations and walls and along with stairs um, is the only thing that we're going to need. And preferably some walls with some windows or some form of something so that I can actually feed him the things that he wants. So, yeah, we're going to need those. And uh, honestly, double door frames is probably the move here. We, we got 23 double door frames. Uh, we're going to need 369. Um... 918 we're gonna need 36 double door frames so we need 13 more of those metal let's see here double door frames yeah we're gonna need 13 more of you i want to make those get the foundations out of there put everything inside of here um yeah let's just take the walls out i don't i don't want to have too much weight on me um because that would not be good at all right and okay yeah we're good um all right awesome let's see what are we missing here we just need more stairs i believe that's it stair and oh we got 17 stairs in there let's just take that that should be good that should be wonderful hopefully this actually works because there's a there's a very high chance it doesn't work and we'll come back really really sad right um but yeah hopefully it does and let's get the rest of these out one more here we go. We might as well get the foundation out too, um, just just for the sake of having a foundation. Now, hopefully, we can actually carry all of this on us, can we? Yeah, we can carry it. Our weight's not too high. All right. Now that we have that, we're also going to take a lot of the Uniranuses from our experience farm here, and we're going to be using the Uniranuses as uh, as bait, pretty much. So we're gonna take them all, claim them, uh, unclaim them, and we should be happy after that. Here we go. Just gonna pick those. Just so I can get the green box away from me. Um, I'm going to try to do ten of them. I don't know how many actual Uniranuses this dinosaur is going to have to eat, um, but it shouldn't be too many. That's one, two. Wait, can I just shoot them without claiming them? Wait, what? Does that automatically claim them then? So that's four. I wonder if that automatically claims them. Anyways, I thought I had to claim them four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There we go. Um, and hopefully this will be enough for us to actually get ourselves the Kacha. And while we're here, I'm just going to go ahead and um, take out all the Uniranuses that are here. Whoops, I did not mean to sprint forward there. Oh, go back around. Here we go. The super big turning radius on the... I don't know why, it's so not nice. 
and I completely missed them. Up, oh, I ran out of stamina. Ah, uh, this is good enough. Let's get our stamina back, and then we're just gonna go ahead and go to the location. Actually, you know what? While we're here, we might as well just kill all of you, right? Get that juicy experience. All right, that's good. I need, I need to stop to save, save a little bit of my energy for the Kacha. Just a little bit. Go ahead and upgrade you twice. Get more melee damage. I need to find another poison wire so I can start mating. Because this poison wyvern um, is actually bad. 40 health. I mean, food. Wow, I didn't even see that. Anyways, I will see you guys back later once we're actually at the, uh, at the Kacha. All right, so we're here. And as you can see, he's down there. I don't have a... Oh, I do have a spyglass on me. Awesome. I didn't think I have a spyglass on me. But um, he's down there. You can kind of see him, even though I'm using my left click. Uh, you can kind of see him. Yeah, there he is. But yeah, he's a level 25 Kacha. Um, the Spyglass isn't doing things that the Spyglass needs to do. But he's only level 25. Oh, there is a Alpha Raptor down there. What level? 135 level Alpha Raptor. Um, we might be able to take. We'll probably be able to take him. But anyways. He's all the way down there. Now, I need to figure out a way to set up this trap where I could be far enough from the Kacha where he won't interfere with the making of the trap, but also uh, he can get inside the trap, um, which, I mean, he's all the way over there. We can drag him over just by using our uh, Wyvern here, or uh, we could take out one of our Rexes and use that as bait. Um, I'm thinking maybe somewhere in this area would be good. Just, I don't want to be near the Brontosaurus. I feel like there's more dinosaurs over there than there are over here. So, yeah, I'm thinking this location should be pretty nice. It's a little uneven. The Koch is a little close. But hopefully we'll be fine. I'm a little scared. I'm a lot scared, actually. A little lot scared. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and put you guys down. How do I... I wish there was a better way to actually get rid of this green freaking square. But anyways, um, let's go ahead and get the foundations out. And the way that I'm actually going to set this up is we could just be... This should be good. And we're just going to do a nice 3 by 3 area here. Hoping and praying that this is going to be large enough to actually, t uh, to actually trap the Kacha in. I really have no no idea at all, but I'm, I'm hoping that it is. We could place down more, but I don't think we have the walls uh, to do that because we only have 36 walls, right? Which we need this thing to be three high up um, just for precaution like that all the way around. Now, do keep in mind, I've never done this before. I've never made this trap before. Um, I've never even tamed a Kacha before, so this honestly, truthfully, might not even work. But it's fun, so we're just gonna do it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to rush a little bit so that he actually doesn't come over here and start munching down on my wyvern. All right, there we go. And the last thing we're gonna need is the stairs, so he actually has a way to get up here. I'm hearing footsteps. Uh oh. Okay, he's on. He's not on me. He's not on me. He's not on me yet. But he's extremely too, way too close for comfort. Um, here we go. And I'm just gonna move my wyvern. Okay, he's still not on me, even though we're like extremely close here. So good that we have the sign on my crops. Okay. Okay, he's still on the he's still on a turtle. We can extend this out uh, just enough, I think, so that the yeah, that's good. All right, and place these down like that. Place that one down. Place that one down. And I'm scared. And I'm scared. And I'm scared. And I, oh, I got hit. Okay. All right. All right. Oh my gosh, that happened. Get over here. Be passive. Be passive. Be passive. Be passive. I think my sign on my crops died. Don't attack. Be passive. Get over here. We're almost dead. Get over here. Be passive. Be passive. Be passive. Be passive. Get over here. This way. What are you doing? 
Are you stuck? Oh my god, okay, we died. Sign of Macrops died. I'm just hoping the Wyvern doesn't die. If that Wyvern dies, I am going to be furious. I'm hoping that it flew over to the location I told it to fly over. On the bright side, it's trapped. On the on the not bright side, I lost the sign of Minecrops, and I think um I think we only have one left. So we're more than like oh wait, no, those are Therizosaurus. We are going to have to tame another side of Minecrops so we can start breeding them again because uh we lost one and this little guy is the only one that we have left, which I don't even think I can reach. Um, is there anything near me? No. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna pull out another wyvern because I do not feel like flying all the way over there on a sign of my crops, and I, I just wouldn't feel safe. Um, so we're just gonna pull out a wyvern here, probably just an ice wyvern, something with high health. We should have done that the first time. <laughs> um, at level 70, uh, 177 ice wyvern, you will do. All right, and I will see you guys back once I get over there again. Okay, so he's still attacking him. Get over here and don't attack. You're passive. You are passive. You are passive. Look how much health you lost because you want to be you want to be big and bold. I appreciate you trying to save me, but yeah. Um, hopefully, if I get over here, the the, the Kacha doesn't actually attack me. Oh, no, I don't know. That's dangerously close. Okay, looks like it worked. All of our gear is obviously going to be dead, but... On the bright side, we have our, um, we have our UD. So he's trapped. He's not going to be able to get to us. Oh my gosh. I don't know what he's trying to do, but I'm, I'm glad he's trapped. That's the good thing. I'm super glad he's trapped actually. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and put the materials back inside of our magic boxes, which where are our, oh, they're under the wyvern. Right? Hold up. I thought I just saw them. Um, They're not in the inventory. I placed them down. There they are. Yeah, we're not. We're not. Yeah. Yeah, the couch is going to be able to hit us from there. So we're just going to keep those here. And we're going to test this out, I guess. Um, I'm not sure if... So it looks like they auto-tame. So if I'm not mistaken here... All I would have to do is unclaim a Uniranus and set these on passives, kill the Uniranus, and then drag the dead body over to the Kacha. You have a lot of health. Okay, do that, and then we would just. Wait, huh? Can I not drag the body of this over? Okay. Um. Interesting. Can I pick up the body with my wyvern? And then do it like that or. No, I can't. Weird. So I can't pick up the body of a uterinus. I wonder if I could do baby Uniranuses. Huh. How close to you can I get without you actually hitting me? I wonder if I can kill a Uniranus right next to the Kacha. You're not attacking me? Wait, what? Why are you not attacking me? Can I hit you? No, I can't. I wonder if you're close enough. That is interesting, the fact that you can't attack me right now. I'm baffled at that. Um. So, we're gonna throw you down. Unclaim you. If this doesn't work, then I'm going to... I'm gonna just try babies. See if babies work. Because babies are smaller. Right? Um... Not sure. Okay, so then if I kill you now. No, huh? The Koch is not able to. Interesting. 
Interesting. Um. Okay, I'm gonna go get some baby UDs. Hopefully that works, and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and um, we're gonna test this out. I went and got like a bunch of Uranus's babies, which just might not even work. Um, but we're going to have to unclaim the baby and then kill the baby with the uh, with our wire and without the baby growing out. I'm hoping that it'll be small enough for us to actually um, be able to drag him over to the uh, Karcha. So let's go ahead and try this. Place him down. And then we're going to unclaim, which is in options. Uh, there we go. Get on our wyvern. And then we're going to kill the baby. All right. Baby's dead. Uh, aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, let's try it again. Did the baby's body just straight up disappear? I'm assuming that's what happened. That or my wyvern collected the, the baby. Yeah, the baby's body just straight up disappears. Wow. Okay. Um, hmm. I've got absolutely no idea what to do now. Um, we, we're going to have to try to find, like... I guess a dinosaur's body that we can drag. I wonder if we could just find a random body here. Like this, this, uh, what about you? Like these guys are pretty chunky, right? I should probably just have you follow me because I don't know how far I'm going to be able to drag you actually. Actually, you're not following me. Are you? Yeah, you are. You are. Okay. I'm just going to have you follow me over here. That way I don't have to drag you 50 miles. Don't get stuck on a rock. All right. All right. All right. Okay, you're still good. Okay. This should be a good enough length. Alright. And I should be able to drag you at least. Can I not? Wait. Why can't I? Hello? I can't even go to the options on this guy. Um, I am I doing something wrong? I'm gonna try it on this parasaur. There's no way a parasaur you're not be able to uh, drag, right? Okay, drag body. Okay. Now I can just drag you all the way over here. I'm just gonna test this out um, to see what the taming effectiveness is as well. I wish I could go a little bit faster while I'm doing this, but. Um, I'm assuming a Parasaur isn't going to be a lot of taming effectiveness since they're small and I've combis following me. Oh, so if I jump, it just lets go of him. Okay, got you. Excuse me. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm just going to king on my ice wyvern. Where'd you guys go? You're so small. I don't even know where you went. Or maybe you ran away. I don't know. Oh, you didn't run away. This is mine. He's taking out my Parasaur. This is my Parasaur to claim and collect. Gosh, dang it. I I freaking claimed to collected it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, that's fine. We could try it with this guy. Actually, now that I think about it, I could tr maybe get the Parasaurs from my Parasaur farm. And do it like that. Yeah, we can't even we can't drag you. Let me I'm a uh here is this parasaur over here. Let's try it with this one. If this works, then we might just have to get our parasaur farm and uh see if we could use that to get some babies or whatnot, or tame parasaurs, unclaim them, and then just feed it to the kacha versus finding something wild like this. Also depending on the taming effectiveness. Um, but but yeah. All right, so we're here. We got the Parasaur. Um, there's a Compi on us. I'm assuming I just go up to him like this. Oh, he's sniffing, he's sniffing, he's sniffing. Do I just drop the body and just let him eat? Or do I, ha I, I, do I have to keep the body on me? Like, keep him dragged. 
Can I, can I carry you? I can't even carry you. I might have to keep the body dragged on me for him to continue sniffing. And just take it from me, I guess. Let's see. Sniff? No. Sniff? I'm not sure what's happening. And the compies are annoying me. Yeah, you're going to be knocked out for a while. Um, can I pick you back up? Uh-oh. There we go. Okay. Sniff. Oh, you're sniffing. He's sniffing. He's sniffing. He's sniffing. He stopped sniffing. Why did he stop sniffing? Um, Not sure. I'm not sure why he stopped sniffing. Why did you stop sniffing? Sniff? Eat it? What am I doing wrong? You look, look, buddy. How do I... He sniffs it, but then he stops sniffing. What if I go in here? What if I come in here with you? Because you're you're not attacking me, and I don't know why you're not attacking me. It's just weird, but you're not. Sniff? I got a dead body here. Does he just not want the parasaur? Is that what's is that what's going on here? I wonder if he just doesn't want the parasaur. Hold up, I'm gonna do some testing real quick. Maybe he just doesn't want the parasaur. I'll say so I did a I did a little reading and apparently um, I have to actually go outside of the render distance for the Kacha to actually eat the animal. So we're going to go a little bit further out of the rendering distance here. I don't know if this will work because I did not test this before even saying something, but it, uh, I'm, I'm hoping that it'll work. And uh, we'll know we're outside of the render distance as soon as we just can't see him anymore. So oh, there we go. And go back around. Um, I hope he's sniffing it. Oh, he ate it. Wow, that actually worked. I wasn't thinking that was going to work at all. But it seems like it worked and it... Oh, shoot. Oh, and we're dead again. But it did It did work. So I guess what we need to do actually is to um get a bunch of dead bodies. Even the Uteranuses might work because that was just like a straight up dead body. Uh, Where should we Let's spawn back here at a bunk bed? Hopefully our Cytomacrops didn't die because that was our last Cytomacrops. Um, but yeah, I was actually surprised that worked. So all we have to do now is we don't even have to drag the bodies. We just have to get a Uteranus and kill it. Okay, we're back. I had to ended up having to bring a, yet another Wyvern over here. So now we have three Wyverns over here. Yay. Um, but if my plan works correctly, all we would have to do is kill a bunch of these Uteranuses, rip all the babies, but kill a bunch of the Uteranuses. Um, and then bring the Uteranuses to him, get outside the Uteranuses, come back, and then he should have a trust system up, which then we could just go around the map killing things and uh, gain its trust. So I'm trying to get close enough. So I don't know what's going on, but he can't hit me right now. Um, but when I came back out of the Rainy Ring distance, he could hit me. Not sure what that's about, but we're going to use this to our advantage, and we're just going to line up um, a bunch of Uteranuses right next to him. Let's say we put one on this side. We're just going to put one on each side because um, I don't want my I don't want to put down a bunch of them and then having my wyvern attack them and then the wyvern actually picks up the body. So we're just going to put them one by one and I'm hoping that this will work. Let's see here. Uh. This might not actually work. Okay. 
Because the, the Uranus has to be somewhat close to the Kacha in the first place, right? Come a little bit closer for me. You're almost dead. I don't know if that's close enough for the Kacha. It might be. Let's just kill you right here. I'm just going to kill you right here. Okay, that might be close enough for the Kacha to get it. I, I honestly have no idea. But we're going to keep on trying it. I just wish these guys didn't have such high health. Because <laughs> this one's not even bleeding. They got like 5,000 health or something like that. Okay. And the knockback does not help at all. It might even be better just to use a bunch of Rexes at this point, but all the Rexes have like 15,000 health. So that's going to take a while to kill them too. But go. Hopefully we can put a lot of damage into him. Fout him backing up. There we go. See, that one's close. That's a close one. That's a close one. Then let's go ahead and put one on this side as well. Here we go. I would love to do a fourth one, but I'm not even sure. I could... Uh, nah, because that one's kind of close. Anyways. There we go. Okay, so now we have three Uranuses here. We could try to put down another one, but I'm a little bit hesitant on it. What I think I'm going to do instead is um, just try to find some Parasaurs in the area or something. Um, we might even be able to tame just random Parasaurs because we just need berries for that. We got Tranquilizer Darts on us already. Um, or even like just a Triceratops even. Um, I think we're going to try that, actually, or even this guy right here. Just anything to get him into his trust mode, and then uh, we could just take down a wall super fast and uh, start killing stuff. But I think we're just going to tame maybe like three or four animals just randomly and then unclaimed kill them and, and just call it like that, right? Okay, so while in the middle of doing this, I literally just realized that we might be out of the rendering distance right now. I, I was planning on doing this, coming back and giving him extra food, but we quite literally might be outside the rendering distance. And when we get back, all the Uranuses are going to be eaten and it's time to actually ride, dude. But, uh, let's see. Is he eating? Oh, yeah, he's definitely eating. Yeah, he's definitely eating. Okay, we might have to do this again if this doesn't work, but he's munched on, seems like, one of them so far. But it's not showing me the status. And I got eaten. Um, I don't know. And that one's too far for him to get. Um, I'm really not sure as to why. We might as well eat this one. Yeah, the little icon didn't pop up at all. Um... Which is weird. I wonder if we have to drag him first. Because you can't drag Unoranus. So I wonder if we have to drag the Unoranus over. But we can't drag them. So maybe we can only do uh, uh, animals that you can drag. And then the Unoranus will be good for when we unlock him. And when we could just pick up the Unoranus like that. I'm thinking that's the move. Because it, the bar didn't pop up. He ate the Unoranus. didn't work. So... I'm going to continue taming a lot of these guys because I want to say one of them, a high level one, was like 25%. So, and we have, let's see, we got a, we got ourselves a female Packy level 22. Um, and then we have this Parasaur right here, level 74. So, let's get a few more just like this guy and we'll go from there. All right. So, I'm back and, um, we uh we lost him when we went into rendering this he actually was able to get outside of his traps somehow and we it, we, we hustled to get him back in here uh he fell all the way down there and uh those two wives are in extremely little health from trying to kite this guy back in there but on the bright side we have a lot we have a lot we have a lot of dinosaurs here for him to eat we have one two three four five six seven 
dinosaurs for him to eat. Um, I'm hoping that'll be enough. So I'm going to get to try to get a little bit closer to the point where he's not able to hit us anymore, uh, which seems to be just about here, which seems to be pretty good. Um, so, oh, sh nope, I was wrong. I was very wrong. Um, there's like a, I don't know how we did it the first time, but somehow, some way, we're able to, oh, let's see. Nope, he's still able to hit us. Um, let's see here. I mean, we should still be able to tame it without even having the little whatever is going on, going on, right? We might actually have it now. It's not hitting us. Nope. Okay. Okay. We can still try it. I mean, only thing we have to do is drag dead bodies to him, right? So, and that doesn't seem to be too difficult to do. Let's start off with this little guy here, the Fimo. So then all we would do is unclaim. And then let's eat him up. All right, up. Oh. All right, that happened. I don't know why it happened, but are you on turret mode? You are. Disable AI special attacks and let's enable turret mode and disable turret mode. And let's also make you passive because I don't know why that just happened. Because that kind of sucks. That was a level 200. That would have been a nice little, you know, nice little little thing to have there, right? Um. Anyways. Cause as soon as I got off my wyvern, he just used his special attack and killed him. Um, which sucks, but you should die in one hit, right? Yeah. Okay, now it's working. All right. So let's drag the body. I'm not gonna drag the body too close. Cause I wanna be able to drag a bunch of bodies at one time to him, so he can't get to that one. Okay. All right, and then we'll get our level 260 Parasaur, by the way. Almost level 300, which is insane. Would have probably been 300 if I would have leveled you up. I think I tamed this one at level 170, which is nutty, but uh, we don't really need Parasaurs like that anyway, so that's pretty much why we're just going to feed them. But level 260 doesn't seem bad to feed the dude. Um, what I really think matters would probably be the health that these dinosaurs have not really um what level they are but i mean the higher level they are more than likely the more health they're gonna have and i just realized we're a little bit worried about when they decompose so this one yeah decompose in three hours okay okay that's the only time we're done really worried about well, well it's definitely not gonna take us three hours to do this um but yeah i'm going to go ahead keep on doing this until i have all of them wrapped up and probably get some uter san uter 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 up in there too maybe like one or two um just in the area that we could just eat really 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 fast and i'll see you guys back once that's done okay so i killed everything all of the dead bodies are in one stack here um if this doesn't work i know i have dire wolves back at home that are like level 200 with hella health so if this does not work we have an alternative that we're gonna try out but first we're gonna try this now i'm not sure if i should leave and come back into rendering distance and feed him if i do that he might get out of the cage again and he will more than likely eat everything here and then probably attack my wyverns and will be sad so before we do that i'm actually just going to try to drag something to his to him um and see if we can get that sniffing animation again because that's really what we need here but even so when we had that the first time he didn't eat anything even if it was a parasaur so um, but when we did leave and come back, he did have the little taming effectiveness on him. So there's, there's that, there's, there's all that to consider. Um, but it doesn't look like he's bothering with us. So what we're going to try to do instead is I'm just going to drag everything over here. Um, just right where he can eat them. leaving and come back i think that's the move i'm gonna stay around just a little bit to see if we can get that Ooh. hello i don't want to collect berries there we go oh no drop the body there we go 
But yeah, I'm gonna leave and come back. Um, but before then, I'm gonna try to see if he'll give us a little sniffing animation again. Um, cause we did get it like three times. There we go. We did get it like three times earlier, so maybe we actually don't need to leave and come back. Maybe it'll just happen. Okay. Sniff? No? No? Okay, we might need to leave and come back. And if all of these bodies here doesn't put him inside of his, his, uh, his I'm a good boy mood, then um, I guess we'll just go with the dire wolves plan because we have a lot of those and it'll probably be a lot quicker than... Yeah, we'll just go with those uh, if this does not work. Um, and hopefully he's still in his cage when this happens. But let's just hope. And I can't really... Oh, I can see him a little bit. All right, he's out the rendering distance. Let's go back in. Okay. And he's eating. Okay, there's the taming thing. There's the taming thing. He still got bodies to eat. Eat this one. Uh He's really not eating more bodies. What is going on? Will you attack me if I come close? Okay, you don't attack me if I come close. Which is actually really, really nice. But that thing is going down. I'm assuming when it does go all the way down, he'll start attacking me. So... there, There's another body for you. Eat that one. Oh, uh-oh. I'm hungry. I have berries. That's probably not going to help any. He sniffed it, but he didn't eat it. What is going on? I think the same thing is happening that happened earlier with him not being able to eat anything because he's like, you know? Okay, so that's that taming effect is probably going to go all the way down, but I don't know what he ate. It's the thing. I'm not sure which dinosaur he ate. So I wonder if we had to just leave the rendering zone come back into the rendering zone until he eats everything because now he's eating again and i think that was probably the high level parasaur and that's probably the low level parasaur right there oh he's able to he's able to bite us now it's fine actually so let's leave i'm probably going to have to go get those dire wolves because we're hungry, um, and uh, we only got one Parasaur left, which he hasn't eaten. Or did he? No? Did he? Yeah, he ate that one, and he ate, we have no more things left to feed him. Wow. That's okay. All right, let's do that. I'm going to go back home, get some food, get the Dire Wolves, do that situation. I will come right back. All right, so I managed to get four Dire Wolves here. The other two got completely annihilated uh, by dude here. Um, I fed him one, the taming went up, and then I tried to drag another one to him, and he ended up biting me, eating the wolf, but the taming didn't go up. I don't know what that's about. I'm assuming it only really works if he's sniffing whatever you have first. So, let's try this. Yeah, so, like, something like that. You see his taming didn't go up, but he still bit us, so now we only have three dire wolves to work with. Hopefully, this will be enough. I'm assuming it won't, and we'll have to tame some more dire wolves, um, but I really have no idea why he's not, like, being nice to us right now. I'm assuming that we just have to leave their rendering distance, come back and try again, because he's just biting down on the metal like crazy. Okay, there we go. He's out of the rendering distance. And I'm just hoping that we'll be able to come back just like this and be able to feed him again wait if i jump okay if i jump it completely okay because i had a problem with that last time okay so i don't know i don't want to get too close and he'll end up biting me because it just f looks like he's going crazy again And his bite distance is so large. Try this again. 
All right, leave the rendering distance. Come out. This is risky though, because each time we leave the rendering distance, there's a chance he can actually leave the trap. So this is a little risky. I think we have to get to the point where he's literally not trying to bite anything. And then we can get this, drag the body, sniff, sniff. I'm confused. No sniff, sniff. Why? I honestly have no clue why he's not sniff sniffing. I wonder if we have to kill the dinosaur in the rending distance. Oh, never mind. No, we don't. Sniff, sniff. Give him that. He doesn't eat it? What? Okay, let's leave. Come back. I don't want to get too close and get eaten again. That's what I'm trying to avoid right now. And I don't know if it's like a distance thing either. Okay, so now he's sniffing. Sniffing, he's sniffing. Is it the... It might be because he can't actually... Maybe that's why. He can't actually bite anything. Because of that little weird glitch that goes on. And the only way to fix it is to leave the rendering distance and come back, right? So... I guess we'll just have to try that. All right, there we go. Back, we land, get you. Wait for the sniff sniff. He's looking at us, sniff sniff. Okay, that worked. And then he goes crazy and I was going to say he goes crazy and starts trying to bite everything, but now he's not. I wonder if he's looking for another sniff sniff. Man, that thing goes down fast. Oh, he's sniffing again. He's sniffing again. He's sniffing again. I th Wait. Okay, that thing goes down fast, but it's manageable. It's manageable. I think we have to leave the rendering, rendering distance and come back each time that happens. I might be completely wrong, but I'm going to try it. Okay. Oh, he ate it. He. Oh, it counted, though. It counted, though. That's what matters. It counted. Okay. It counted. I'm not going to have enough, and I know that. But I want to try this anyways. And I wonder if I leave the random distance, come back, will he still have that same progress or no? Okay, he's not sniff sniffing. However, I'm just going to leave that there. I'm gonna leave the rainy resistance and come back and see what the progress looks like. Okay. All right, he's happy. Looks over. Eats. Oh, he actually didn't eat anything. Weird, he, he did the eat animation, but he didn't eat anything. Maybe we have to drag it over to him for him to eat it or something. I don't know. Let's back it up a little bit. Let's try this again. And let's drink some water as well. This is a tricky one. I'm actually not sure how this works. I'm just glad he hasn't, like, magically left the trap again. Alright, that should be good enough.
All right, we're back. Sniff, sniff. The taming is... I think the taming um, does not save. Because <laughs> each time I come back, is it's way lower. Now, I wonder if I get hit here. Weird. He did the sniff animation, but he didn't eat anything. Yeah. I, I want to say my trap has something to do with it. Because there's no way it's this weird. But I left it in front of him on purpose to see if I came back, would he just eat it and it would just count towards the taming or no. Because I'm assuming he's going to eat it. Turn. Eat. Tame. Okay, awesome. Okay. I guess we can just try that. And it looks like we're going to need like at least five or six of them. So I'm going to go back home. Uh, breed up a lot more wolves since they breed really easily. And um, I'm going to be back. All right, so. I went ahead and got six dire wolves, max level, well not max level, but you know, level, high level, 3,000 health each, roughly 3,000 health each, six dire wolves in this pack, this pile of dead bodies here, and uh, we are going to try this. Um, I'm hoping that this will work. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna be really sad. But um, I guess the first step would try to actually drag one of these, there we go. And what we have to do is wait for a sniff sniff which I don't know when he's going to sniff sniff. Hold up. I don't know if it's a cool down. Or what. Or maybe we have to leave and come back. I wonder if it has something to do with the walls that I'm using. That's what I'm seriously wondering here. I feel like it has something to do with the walls that I'm using, and that's the reason why he's not trying to sniff sniff right now. Oh, there's a sniff sniff. He sniffs sniffs, but he doesn't eat it. I think I have to drop it right in front of him. Like, whenever he does the sniff sniff. I think. Because if it's not in front of him, I wonder if he just won't eat it. But that's going to be difficult with him swaying back and forth like this. Um, I wonder if it'll be better if I get on the stairs. I'm actually going to try that real quick. Because it just might be better. I don't know if I'm able to walk up these stairs, though. Yeah, because he's sniffing over there. Like, who's over there? No one's over there. I cannot get up on these stairs. No. Oh. Um, sniff, sniff, jump, bro. You're right there. Maybe it has something to do with him not being able to bite. Just like he's not attacking me right now. Maybe that's it. So maybe, I don't know, which is going to make this a whole lot more difficult. Um, whole lot more difficult. I'm going to get out the rendering distance. We're going to come back. We're going to try again. We do have six. I don't know. I think it takes like five or so. But if the, if the timer starts going down, it's going to suck. And we're going to have to do all this back over again with like 10. Just to make sure. All right. He's bloodthirsty. Now we wait for the sniff sniff. Sniff sniff is not happening. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Eat him. Eat the wolf. It has it's it's got to have something to do with the walls because there's no way. Right. There's no way it doesn't have anything to do with the walls. I'll be back. I'm gonna make some dino gates. And see what's going on. I'm, I'm gonna make some dino gates, replace the dino gates with the, well, replace the walls with the dino gates, and hope that that solves everything. All right, so we're back. 
I ended up getting uh, two dino gates, some foundations, and then some pillars. Um, I'm going to try this again without placing anything down first, as I'm over here now. Um, yeah, no luck. It doesn't seem like he's able to do anything to us. I'm going to just walk over here just to see if he'll, he's able to even attack us. Yeah, he's not even able to attack us right now. Um, and I think that has something to do with it. Him not being able to attack us, so... I'm going to believe that it has something to do with these walls. And... Going to try to use these instead to trap him. Um... I really don't know if this is gonna work. Okay. So if I do that, then I should be able, theoretically, should be able to just pick up these, um, these foundations here. And I guess we'll know once he takes a bite out of us and hurts us. Oh. Well, that happened. Um... On the bright side, he's still trapped. Um, on the very bright side, he's still trapped. I wonder if through that little gateway, will he sniff? Or no? No. Huh. Um. I'm still a little scared. Um. So I could place this down like that. And I could probably get rid of this foundation. And probably get rid of this one. Okay, so he's still trapped. Okay, so... I'm gonna leave out the rendering distance and I'm gonna come back again. All right. Hey. It's like he's looking at me. Oh, he ate it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. He ate it. Oh my god. Alright. Now, can you do that again? Please? Come on. Your taming thingy is going down. And every time I leave out the room, this isn't come back. Even for a second, that thing is like gone. Oh. <gasps> Yeah, yeah. You sniffed it! If you don't eat this, you sniffed it! Eat this. Eat it now. Oh my gosh. Eat this now. I demand you. I demand you. Take this wolf. Take this wolf. Take the wolf. Oh my gosh. What is happening? You're looking at me, but you're not eating anything. Okay, you want me to come over here? You want me to come over here? Take that. Eat that. Eat it. Eat it. What's what's going on? I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Is it is it his hunger bar? Like, uh, is he just not hungry? Or like, I, I, I don't get it. Does he have to be hungry? Or like, like, do I have to do I have to like put his health down so his hunger can go down and then he eats? Cause that's pretty much gone already. And now we're down to five wolves. I I don't understand. All right, so apparently whenever the Kacha goes for a sniff but doesn't eat, all I have to do is lead a rendering assistant, come back, and he'll eat it. So we're going to try that. Um, I, I And there was another video that I watched that said that I have to kill it, not a dino. So I have to go kill like a dino with the shotgun and then try to feed it instead of killing dinosaurs with another dino and then feeding the dead dinosaur. I don't know if that matters, but... If this doesn't work, then I guess that's kind of just what we're going to have to try. Um, so I leave. I come back. I'm going to drag the moss chops because I quite literally just killed it just for this. I was hoping he was going to eat the turtle over there, but that's not going to happen. Um, 
Not getting any sniffies. Which is disturbing. And every video that I watched had used giant gateways instead of the trap that I have here. Which, honestly, I might just craft a bunch more of these gateway situations here and try it like that. But yeah, he's just not sniffing, is he? I don't know. I'll lay it down. I, I don't know. I, I could try leaving the rendering distance again and go a little bit further. Maybe I just didn't do it last time correctly. Let's see. Out the rendering distance. Pretty far this time. Okay, and we go inside of the rendering distance. He screams at us. Doesn't go down to eat the moss chops at all. I don't know what's up with this thing. I don't know if it's a hunger thing or what like is he just not hungry like do i have to make him hungry or no i don't know how that works okay so um i broke the trap he's wandering but it when he was wandering away from me it looked like he was running away from me so it might be the trap i don't know if you can actually trap them or not um but that seemed to be the issue that i was having where he would i don't know what he's doing now I'm a little bit scared to go near him. Um, uh oh, let me get a body here. Okay. But apparently he doesn't attack you when you're dragging bodies. At least that's what I'm hoping right now. And I'm not sure on what mode he's on. Um, and I hope I don't die. But it still seems like he doesn't want to eat anything. Even he's not even aggroed on the enemies on the ground. He's kind of just there. Just yeah. Maybe if I were to leave and come back out of the rendering distance, maybe that'll work. Maybe that's like resets him or something. Cause he's not he's not even attacking anything. He's he's kind of just there, chilling. I hope he doesn't start attacking my wyverns on the side though. That would be devastating. Okay, we come back. What's wrong with him? Usually he's, uh... That is so weird. He's so friendly. Okay, um... What if we go really far away? I'm gonna, let's try that. Let's just go really far away. I'm gonna go back to base. Well, not really back to base. Maybe we don't have to go back to base. Let's just go really, really far away, like this far. Like this is far, right? Away from him, you know, nothing's in the rendering distance, blah, blah, blah. All right, and then we come back. We'll spitball down there for no reason. Hit the Rex. Almost. Okay, we're back. We've been gone for a little bit. He's still not aggroed on anything. Let's try to drag a body to him. Oh, he ate something. Was it ours that he ate or no? Well, he ate that. Is he eating everything now? Is it counting towards taming? It's not counting towards taming. I have reason to believe that... Um, okay, now he's trying to kill us. I have reason to believe... I'm going to blame the trap. Um, I'm going to just straight up blame the trap on this one. Okay, he fell down, which honestly is not bad. I'm just gonna... Well, maybe I don't have to pick up my wyverns. I'm gonna pick them up regardless. Just in case. Okay, so... I guess we could try taming him without the trap. 
Which, let's see, how would we even do that? I think we would legit have to set up a shop down there. Drag bodies to them. Run all the way back. And then just repeat the process. Um, because... I'm seriously just not understanding. I, I just don't think he's trappable. Because when he was in the trap, it it he ate stuff and the, the timer went up. But it legit just seemed like when he got out the trap, he was running from me. As if he couldn't catch me and he didn't want to eat anything. And the only solution I see right now is literally just getting like 10 of them, setting up shop somewhere and like dragging them all down. That's the only solution that I see. All right, so we have eight dead wolves here, which I believe to be plenty um, if he does eat them all. Now, he's over here, so I'm going to try to aggro him over there. And then I'm going to drag the bodies off, fall off the cliff, and then hopefully live forever ever after. Just got to get him aggroed on us, which is a little bit... It's easy, but hard if you're flying. Cause it'll straight up just un aggro on you. And now he's on us. Right? No? Okay, hold up. Now he's on us. Yep. Come down here. I'm gonna drop down so he can stay on us instead of the Tyranodon or just kill the Tyranodon. Alright, that should be good. Where are we? Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay, so hopefully this works. So simply drag body. And then we would fall down here. Oh, come on. So we can't fall. So we can't fall when dragging bodies, I don't think. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Which means we're going to have to bring him up here, right? We can't fall. Yeah. All right, let's see. No, we can't. We can't fall. The moment we start falling, we drop the body. And that body is probably going to go down there now. Okay, um, which means we're probably going to have to lure him in that area. And just drag the bodies downwards like that. That's what I'm thinking. While we're here, we might as well just replace that one. With this little guy. Okay. Now, I don't like using my Poison Wyvern for this because my Poison Wyvern doesn't have the highest of health. How many were once you... Okay, maybe, honestly, we could maybe get away with this with um, just killing the wolves outside of the rendering distance. Not rendering distance, but outside of... He's looking at something. It might be that wolf that he's looking at. But yeah, kill the wolves kind of in this area. And then drag them over to where he's at. That could work. Alright. I just gotta keep a little bit of an eye on him to make sure that he doesn't come all the way over here. Which, um... Ooh, he's... He's fast, man. I think he's after that bird. Or something. He's after something, but let's... um, Let's come this way a little bit. Yeah, that should be good. Yeah, that should be good. He's awful aggro on me. Don't need you to be too close, my friend. Not yet, at least. Not yet. Alright, we're about to try this. Um, I feel like maybe I should drop a little bit more of my weight. And he is still kind of far. I think that's what we're going to do. But my plan is I have them all lined up on this row. Unless he gets closer. Um, Actually, no, no, no. no. Let's, I'm going to drop some stuff. Like the pillars and everything. So he can run a little bit faster. Even when we're dragging the wolves. Um, I feel like that will help a lot. I wish there was a dinosaur that we could use to drag wolves over. But but no. 
Okay, um... Yeah, let's put the armor over there. The, the, the gloves and everything is fine. Let's put that over there. All of this needs to just go over there. Yeah, put that over there. All of that. Okay. Alright, I think that's fine. Our weight's like little to nothing now. Yeah, I think he's close enough for the most part. I'm also assuming he's going to get slowly but surely closer each time he eats. So, there's that. Yeah, we're going way faster now. Okay. Hoping this works. I wish he was a little bit closer, but I think this will work. Hey. Hello. I have food for you. Yep, 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 yep. All right, he eats it. He goes crazy. But he's aggroed on us. That's the thing. He's aggroed on us. And I don't want him to go closer over there, so. Okay, we're going to try to lose aggro on him. Okay, we lost aggro. It's good. We just don't want him to go over there. That would be bad. Is he on us? Is he on us again? Oh, he is. Okay. Actually, this is this might be good. That's a bite. Yeah, we're dead. We're dead. We're so dead. Okay. Okay. And he killed our sign of Minecraft. This is not good. Man, this is hard. This is so hard. On the bright side, we did end up getting him far away from where we died. Um, I didn't get my stuff back, but I got the other sign of Minecraft. Hoping this will work. The plan is to just fly up, lose aggro, but don't go back down. Because it seems when I go back down, I gain aggro again. So I got to get out of his aggro range and then start dragging again. I think, I think, I think that'll work. Let's see. So we bring him food, sniffs it, wait till he goes down like that. And then we can fly away while he eats it. It's like that. And then he's going to go crazy because he's aggroed on us. But we're going to go all the way up here. Or he's actually unable to get us. Is he still aggroed on us? No, he's not. Okay. So now we're super high in the air. Still not on us. I'm going to dive down. Okay. Now, I just hope that I'm not so far away that the taming effect of this just goes down, you know? And we only have a limited amount of these uh, these wolves that we have. I can always go get more, but that would take time. And we're super far away, which might be a good thing because we don't want him to just go in crazy and start eating up all dead wolves that we have in stock, right? So I'm hoping that once we go back over here, there will be a little bar on his head that... Okay, so it does go down, but it's staying there? Uh, I have food for you. Can we ignore the turtle for a second? Can we ignore the turtle for a second and eat this wolf here? I don't think he wants to. I think he aggroed on the turtle instead of the wolf. I think that's what happened. And now his taming bar is way down. Is this for me? Is this sniff for me? No, it wasn't. No way it was for me. Wait, what? Where is he going? I'm so lost. I'm so lost right now. How did that happen? Why is taming this thing so difficult? Let me get my stuff back. Why is taming him just like it feels impossible right now? Because why did he run away from me? He had no reason to run away from me. No reason to run away from me. Maybe we have... I don't know. I feel like I should take this body back. To where all the other bodies are. What if I made a wall? 
I don't know. I, I'm just running through ideas in my head of what I can do because it feels like he needs to be closer right now. That's what it feels like. It legit feels like he needs to be closer to me. Or where all the other bodies are. Because if it's too far, then Timmy Fekin is going to go down and that's I'm going to need more wolves, right? But the, the faster that I can consecutively feed him, the better. But he can't be too close. It seems like he's stuck. There's a body there that he's trying to eat. I'm going to eat it for him. So he can get unstuck. Okay. And he's not aggroed on me. Oh my gosh. This is so it's like I have to kill everything in the vicinity for this man to get aggroed on me. Now he should be aggroed on me. I need you to come all the way back over here. Yep. Eat me up. Eat me up. Yep. You like how I taste? Let's go ahead and start flying. So I can stop taking damage. I need you all the way over here. Take a little bite out of me. Nice, 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 nice. All right, this is close enough. Awesome, 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 awesome. That might have been one of the dead. Uh, no, I still got five left. Three, four, five. So I got five dead wolves. And I think he's trying to eat the one that's still stuck on that cliff, if I'm not mistaken. Which honestly might not be bad. Okay, I bring you this gift. Please don't kill me. I'm constantly confused as to... Oh, wait, is this for me? All right, I know you're going to go crazy, so I'm going to come up here. Because I know you're going to try to kill me now. But I just need to lose aggro on you. All right, let's assume that I don't hear walking anymore, so I'm assuming I lost aggro. Okay. Assuming I lost aggro. Okay. Woo, he came over here quick. I'm, a, I'm hoping as soon as he's done with this turtle, I can feed him again. I'm, a, I'm mad the turtle's there, though. What is he doing? That's uh, getting a little too close to the other dead wolves there, buddy. I Okay, he's hungry. He's hungry. He's hungry. He's hungry. He's hungry. He's sniffing it. Come on. What's going on? Why does he run away from me whenever I'm starting to tame him? And now you want to eat it, but your fucking bar is all the way down. I don't get it. We're going to be risky here and assume that he's not going to be. Yeah, he's aggroed on us. Way aggroed on us, too. He's still aggroed on us. He's looking at us. Is he still on us? I think he's off us now. No, he's definitely still on us. Um... We can't do anything when he's aggroed on us like this. We might need to get Gilly. I'm thinking we get Gilly. Because it seems like we have to feed him and get him off of aggro on us and then feed him again. And just keep doing that process until he's tamed. But the quicker we get him off of aggro, the better. And we can do that by wearing Gilly, right? So I'm thinking we get a full set of Gilly. And just pray that we lose aggro on him fast. Because now his taming bar is probably... Yep, his taming bar is almost gone.
hungry. And even when we do bring him food, it's like it takes him forever to try to eat it. He didn't even eat it that time. Okay, I'm going to go get some ghillie and I'll be right back. All right, so we got our full thing of ghillie here. Um, I'm hoping that this will work now. He's really close to this one, so I'm just going to try this one again and see how fast we lose aggro on dude. Let's see. Yep, yep, yep. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Sniff, 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 sniff. Jump up. He doesn't eat it. I don't understand why he's not eating it. I don't get why he's not eating it. And then he runs away. What is going on? Are you going to be back? Does it have to be right under you? Oh, now he wants to eat it. Okay. So he eats it. Goes crazy. How fast do we lose aggro? Wow. He's actually not even aggroed on us. Okay, I'm surprised. He's actually not aggroed on us at all right now. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting, actually. Um, I wonder if it's I wonder if it's possible for us to put the wolves inside of like a pin made out of metal because you can't destroy metal, right? So we make a pin made out of metal, put the dead bodies in there. We can get even closer to him without having to worry about the dead bodies being eaten because um because they're surrounded by metal and i i can't even use those two down there anymore so i might even have to bring him up here and try out these and hopefully just keep him down there i think that's what we'll try yeah i think that's what we'll try and while we're down here we might as well just to kill everything and ever anything that he's just gonna try to attack anyways honestly he might not even try to attack the rex oh there's so many mobs here he's gonna, yeah i don't know i feel like he's gonna try to attack everything here this is so difficult i wish it was an easier way to like get him up there Or an easier way to get the the, mo uh, the mobs down here. It'd be nice because this taming bar is already gone. Yeah, it's already gone. So we can get him to follow us. All the way up here. You know that that works too. That definitely works as well. Just like right here would be perfect. All right, he's not on us anymore. Then we come down here. Try to bring him some food. Oh, no. Okay, we got this. 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 Oh, that's scary. But we have Gilly on. Can you not be aggroed on me because I have Gilly on? And uh, Gilly makes you not see me, right? Right? You're still freaking looking at me, and it's scary, dude. We get this body anyways and bring it to you, though. He didn't even eat the body. I got a, a freaking thief bird on me. I don't understand why he's not eating the body. That's the one thing I don't get. He sniffs the body and runs away. 
Why are you not eating the bodies? After you sniffed them. Is there a cooldown or something? What am I missing? All right, guys, I'm back. It's been a while. It's been a couple of hours, okay? I've decided to follow a YouTube video down to the T. So what I did was I trapped a dude inside of some ginormous dino gates. I got myself a shotgun. I'm gonna be killing the dinosaurs and apparently baby Rexes is the way to go. So I went ahead and got me four baby Rexes here. Um, This one says it has 5,000 health, so we might not even use that one, but I'm hoping that these baby Rexes actually work. So we're gonna go ahead. Hopefully I can kill him fast enough before he like grows, but place him down and shotgun. Okay. Uh, cha. Okay, it's, it's dead. Okay, and I could drag the body as well. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so that was weird because it was a little bit laggy, but I mean, it, it ended up working. So, okay. I've never done this before. This is actually my first time using a shotgun as well. Oh, come on, reload, hurry up. Before it gets too big to the point where I can't drag it like that one. Damn it. Um, crap. Well, wait, it wasn't dead all the way. Okay, I can drag this one. Okay, I don't know how big they can get before I can't drag them anymore. Because I know you can't drag a full-grown Rex, right? Because that wouldn't that wouldn't make sense. Mother. Is it, is it laggy or? There we go. I was about to say freaking butt face. Jesus. I have limited shotgun bullets. Don't come take things from me. Okay, and... We'll try this last one here because apparently one baby Rex is enough to tame it full blown. Apparently, but I'm not sure. All right, there we go and let it load that it's actually dead. Oh, yeah, we definitely should be able to drag that one. Okay, um, we got uh, 24 bullets left, so I'm going to try this one, even though it says that it's at like max health. Still going to try it. See what happens. Oops, I accidentally hit him. Oh, so you weren't at max health. Either that or the shotgun just does a whole bunch of damage. There we go. Okay, so we got four baby Rexes here. This was a lot faster than using the wyvern to do this. But anyways, we have four baby Rexes. Four of them. Okay, we got we got some they, they broke, but we got some ghillie. Okay, so I mean. Should we take, let's take the ghillie off just so he can see us. I don't know if that'll matter, but I really want him right now, so. Oh, he's sniffing, he's sniffing, he's sniffing, he's sniffing. Come over here. You interested in this big boy, huh? You want some of this meat, big boy, huh? Sniff again, I need you to sniff again. You're not, you're not doing the things I need you to be doing right now. Excuse me? Oh. Why are you still alive? Am I? I'm just a bad shot, aren't I? And you're level 145. There we go. Oh. There we go. This shotgun is actually kind of fun. I want a higher level one so I can do more damage, but it's kind of fun. Anyways. Anyways, 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 anyways. Okay. Yeah, you smell it. You smell it. Come down here. There you go. Take that from me before you bite me. Eat the... Eat the Rex. Why aren't you eating the Rex? Maybe I have to leave the render distance and come back. I'm betting it on that. Let's get our... Let's get our Wyvern. Let's go ahead and leave the render distance. And we'll come back. Just like all the five trillion YouTube videos I saw said. Uh... Alright. Now we should be able to come back and... He should eat the Rex. Oh, no, he's out the trap. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, he fell. Oh, my God. Did he fall? I see her footsteps. I don't know if he fell, but I still hear footsteps. Why did he have to fall? Yeah. 
No, he's def he definitely fell. He definitely fell. God damn it. All right, so. Made another trap. Got three more dead Rexus. Fingers are crossed that this works. Okay. This one got really big. This one's a juvenile. This one, those are two are just like babies, but that one actually got like really, really big. Um, but anyways, we can still drag its body surprisingly. At least the thing pops up. All right, here we go. All right. This is a huge one. We can barely move with this big one. All right. You want this one? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do, buddy. Yeah, you do. You smell the Rex. You smell them. You smell the Rex. Ah. But I'm walking so slow with it. I don't know if it'll like. I don't know if it if it still wants to eat or not. I really don't know because I'm walking so freaking slow with it. Uh oh. And now I'm stuck in it. Uh oh. Ark. Help. Help. No, oh, there we go. Eat this Rex. Get it off of me. Turn around. Chew me. Chew. Chew. Oh my god, you're so annoying. You're so annoying. Okay, let's release. I can't get out the Rex, so I have to actually, like, just hope that it... Uh-oh. Okay, I got out the Rex. Wow, that was crazy. Okay. I kept getting stuck in that Rex, so I ended up just harvesting it. And instead, we're just going to use these since I walk faster with these anyways. Um... All right, he's sniffing. He goes down. We give it to him. He bites it. He doesn't bite it for some reason, which means all we have to do is get on our wyvern and run away, according to Google. So let's do just... Okay, I thought I heard chewing. Let's do just that, shall we? We'll just... uh Should be far away. All right, now we come back, he's gonna have eaten the Rex and then we're gonna feed it the other Rex and he's gonna be tamed. That's exactly what's about to happen. Right? Right? You know, we spawn in and he's uh, still stuck in a trap, but for some reason he's not anymore, which is really depressing. But uh, we're still gonna drag this body to, oh, 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 he ate the Rex. Oh my god, he ate the Rex, 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 he ate the Rex. Ride. I need to eat everything. This Rex over here, I need to eat this Rex. Nice. Okay, maybe I can only eat things that are alive. Yeah, I can only eat things that are alive. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. That makes sense. Come on. Okay, I say we avoid things like this because this is obviously taking way too long. And we only got 560 seconds. That's plenty of time. It's plenty of time, right? Oh, no, he has stamina. Okay, maybe I'm rushing a little bit. We have we have six minutes. We're at 42%. We can do this. We don't, we don't need the rush. Let's get some stamina. Okay, let's get some stamina. All right. And I also, I think if we tame, if we get hit, then that's bad. There's a Rex up here, so, you know, preferably we get this done before that. But look at all this stuff. Look at all these. Look at all this. All that, yeah, we got this for sure. Give me that. I don't know what you are, but you're going to die. Give me that. Um, You're going to die. Give me that. You're going to die. Give me that. Let's go. Finally, brother. Finally. Okay. Uh, I don't even know what to name you. I don't even know what to name you. But finally, we, we have you even... Uh, uh, Oh, I need a saddle to ride you. I didn't even know that. You're doing you're doing 95 damage to a turtle. You're doing 63 damage. I need to go get you a saddle. I will be right back. Listen, you might have low stats, and you might not have even been worth taming, but I love you. I love you and the 69 damage that you do to everything. You weak, weak beast, but you're awesome. Okay, you're awesome. I saw that matters. You're awesome. And we're gonna level you up a lot. I'm putting everything in damage because nothing else matters. But you're super duper fast. Look at that. Look at that. I can't believe I got me a Kacha. I'm about to go Kacha taming. I'm about, to, I'm about to scour the map just for these guys and tame a higher level one. That's what I'm about to do. All right, guys. That's all for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, We finally got him. 
as you can see we're in the base i'm currently leveling him up and i leveled him up about 50 times I already put everything into melee even so look how much damage are these uh fully grown i think they're fully grown look how much damage it does 384 damage and i'm i'm boosted to the the, the ud right now so really it's like 300 to do low 200 or something around there and uh this thing is supposed to be pumping out way more damage than that but it's just because when i tame him, he was level 25 i mean he's level 87 now so i mean what what more can you do you know what i mean so we're definitely gonna have to find ourselves a higher level version of this guy but i mean he is absolutely awesome like look at this like the attack range is insane like the i i it's 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 perfect this this is a marvelous marvelous dinosaur i just wish it was higher level but other than that i appreciate you guys watching i'm gonna sit here and level uh level dude up just a little bit and i will catch you guys back on the next one peace